Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Voodoo Forge, and we are moving on with the Armor Project. Now, before I say anything else, I want to say this is for entertainment purposes only. This is not informative. This is not educational. If you need body armor, buy body armor from a reputable manufacturer. Uh, just, you know, don't... If you get shot wearing this, I don't want to hear about it. I'm telling you, that's a terrible plan. So, but anyway, what I'm doing in this one is I'm, I'm getting our material ready. You know, we've tested the material. We know how we're going to treat the material. We know it's a viable material. So now I've got to get enough of it sized to where I can start fitting this stuff together. So first step, I've got to cut more out of the tank. So let's, let's jump on that. I'm gonna let all of these little plates slow cool uh, overnight in uh, in this uh, steel container all together. And the reason why I put them all together in here is that that slows the cooling process down more. I'm not annealing them. Annealing them would be where I, I took them and I I buried them in. Um, vermiculite or, or wood ash or something like that and it really slowed the cooling down but this helps soften it a little bit so this will make drilling holes and grinding and everything I've got to do to these will make it a lot easier and then when everything is all ready to be put together everything's been dry fitted and all ready to be put together then I will heat treat these by heating them back to non-magnetic and quenching them in oil just like we did our test piece only they'll be a lot different then the plates are flat and normalized and this is the general configuration they are going to be in when I put all this together now there's still a lot of grinding I'm gonna take some corners off the top and get everything uniform size so there's a lot of grind in there. First, the first thing I've got to do is get all of these uniformly sized. And I'm going to do that by kind of lumping them together and, for lack of a better term, gang grinding them. That sounds terrible. I need to come up with another way to express that. Uh, grinding them all at the same time. So, uh, that's, that's uh, the step I'm going to right now. I'm faced with a choice here, either not show you this, just fix it, and keep my dignity a little more intact, or go ahead and show you. I got in a hurry when I was flattening these out. Uh, I was looking at this, you know, the way I look at a lot of decorative jobs where a little wobble doesn't matter. I feel like these should all be uniformly flat. So I have got to go back, reheat these, and get them all uniformly flat. So I'm gonna tell you about that. The reason why I'm telling you about this is, is just to reiterate that don't get in a hurry when you're working on something, uh, even if, if you're excited about it and uh, goofy. 
So I'm going to take these back, put them in the forge, and probably to get a more uniform flatness, I'll probably put a plate on top of them when they're hot and clamp it down. And maybe that'll get a, a uniform flatness. Here's the plan I've come up with. Uh, I'm using the leaf on my welding table instead of my main welding table. I don't think that this heat will warp this 3 8 but if it does warp something, I'd rather it be this than my, my big table. So I'm gonna heat these, two of them at a time, bring them over here, slap them down. I'm gonna take this big piece of angle, set it on top, and clamp them both down until they cool to a black heat. Hopefully I can achieve the uniformity that I need. We we'll won't know until we try it though, will we? So, got two in the forge. Let's do it. These are my four uh, big pieces that are going to be the center pieces that run down the, the center of this thing. So I've got them lined up on two sides. I'm just going to grind these two sides to get them all the same size. I'm using my big one. These are the smaller scales, same basic process, grind down this side and that one. I got them ground to the width that I want them. Now to get them cut to the same height. And the way we're doing this is get them all square on their one of their sides where they're all straight. And then we will transfer them to the bandsaw. I was going to keep up with how long it took to cut that on my little 4x6 bandsaw, but it, it, uh, 
it took longer than four hours and um, I was working in the shop but you know I ran out of juice about 11 o'clock at night and uh, I did something I never do I left my saw running with me not in the shop and it cut through it at some point in the wee hours of the morning I would assume so <laughs> they're they're sized now and this is they're back in the layout that we're we're gonna be putting them in well that's where we're at there so we finally got the the, the material ready to start uh putting it together uh that did not go as i planned i'm sure i'm making this up as i go along so i'm trying to show you as best i can the way this is going one thing i have noticed when editing these videos is i have got to stop uh announcing ideas i have in my head before i, I know they're going to work because a lot of the grinding and stuff that i talked about just isn't going to be necessary so i'll i'll do my best to to keep that to a minimum from here on out uh but yeah it's, it's going along it's, it's a lot of fun it's 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 very challenging so anyway it is what it is but anyway i hope y'all enjoyed it hope you got something out of the video and y'all behave yourselves I don't know where y'all are at in the world, but it is hot in Tennessee, and it's, you know, it's only June, so, whoo, hey, it gets especially hot in here. Anyway, you know, subscribe and playlist and videos and stuff.